using implicit differentiation, find y double prime, the second derivative of y, if xy equals 1 plus y. So we need to use implicit differentiation twice. Let's review our procedure. For implicit differentiation, I'm going to have an equation. If I take the derivative on each side of the equation with respect to x, then what comes out stays equal. Since everything's in terms of x and y, for implicit differentiation, we treat y as a function of x. So that means whenever a derivative with respect to x hits y, I have to use the chain rule. So that just means tacking on a y prime. Then we'll need to do a little bit of algebra so we can isolate y prime. Let's take a look. So my first pass the equation taking the derivative with respect to x, what do we get? On the left-hand side, it's the product rule. So I'll have derivative of x, which is 1, times y, plus x times the derivative of y. Okay, well, that's just y prime. We don't know what that is. That's what we're trying to solve. On the other side, we have 1 plus y. I take its derivative with respect to x. The 1 goes away. And again, we have just y prime. So that's going to give me this equation here. I collect all the y prime terms on one side, non y prime terms on the other. So it'll give me the x minus 1 y prime equals minus y. I divide by my x minus 1. And notice we can multiply top and bottom by minus 1 over minus 1 just to fix the sign. So I'll have y prime equals y over 1 minus x. Now, to get y double prime, we could use the quotient rule on this, just take the derivative with respect to x again. But let's use the implicit differentiation to the equation I got when I took my first implicit differentiation. Then what's going to happen? y is going to go to y prime. xy prime is going to go to, okay, we're going to use the product rule. The x goes away, leaving me with y prime plus x. Then derivative of y prime with respect to x, that's just going to be our y double prime. On the other side, we have y prime derivative with respect to x, y double prime again. Now, I just do our same trick. We collect all the y double primes on one side, everything else on the other side, factor out y double prime, and then divide. What's that give us? That's going to give us over here y double prime equals 2y prime over 1 minus x. Now, note that y prime is equal to y over 1 minus x. So I can get rid of the y prime in there, and that's probably something you'd want to do. Normally with these types of problems, you're given your x and your y to start out with. So you want your final answer in terms of x and y with no y prime in there. So our final answer winds up being 2y over 1 minus x squared. Now, we can check this. Why is that? Well, the equation that I used in the beginning, we can actually solve for y. Okay, we can isolate y, and so that's going to turn into y equals 1 over 1 minus x. That equals 1 minus x to the minus 1. Point is, this is a function. We know how to do derivatives of functions like this. It's just regular old chain rule with the power rule. For y prime, we bring the minus sign down, turns the exponent to a minus 2, derivative of the inside is minus 1. It's going to give me 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared for my first derivative. For my second derivative, bring the minus 2 down. Derivative of the inside is going to be minus 1. And remember, the exponent up in top is going to now be a minus 3. So we wind up with a 2 over 1 minus x quantity cubed. So that's y double prime. Let's see how we would get that from our old way using implicit differentiation. Well, where that stops is y double prime equals 2y over 1 minus x squared. But now note, we just solve for y. y is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So if I substitute that into our y double prime, we wind up with 2, 1 minus x cubed. And that agrees with what we get with the straightforward differentiation.